Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Grade Four Mathematics class. How are you all doing today? So we have been learning about multiplication. Today we'll learn how we can easily multiply any number by hundred, thousand, and ten thousand. Now, look at this example: five into hundred. To multiply any number easily by hundred, just insert two zeros to the right of the given number. So here. Five into hundred, inserting two zeros to the right of it gives you five hundred. Now, the second example, one thousand four hundred fifty-six into hundred, inserting two zeros to the right will give you the product one lakh forty-five thousand six hundred. Now, when you multiply with hundred, you insert two zeros, right? So when you multiply with thousand, there are three zeros in thousand, so you insert those three zeros to the right of the given number. So if it is nine into thousand, it is nine thousand. Here are the three zeros from the thousand that you multiply with. Now six hundred thirty into thousand, inserting three zeros to the right of six hundred thirty gives you six lakh thirty thousand. Now similar to multiplication by hundred and thousand to multiply with ten thousand, just insert these four zeros to the right of the given number. So Eight into ten thousand means you just insert these four zeros to the right of eight, giving you eighty thousand. And in the second example, thirty-four into ten thousand it is three lakh forty thousand. After inserting the four zeros to the right of thirty-four, so I hope this is clear to you. Now you have to go through the topic in page number thirty-eight of your textbook. Then once you finish that. We have to move to exercise three dot two in page number thirty nine. You have to do the first four questions of question one. That is one A, one B, one C, and one D. You can pause the video, finish the activity, and come back. Hope you finished writing the products. Now let's check the answers. The first question: find the product of eleven into hundred. What is the answer here? It is multiplication by hundred. So there are two zeros. Inserting two zeros to the right of eleven gives you the product one thousand one hundred. So that was A. Now B. It is eighteen into thousand. How many zeros to the right of it? Three zeros. So the product is eighteen thousand. Now, question C. Here you have the given number as one thirty and into thousand. How many zeros to the right? Three zeros. And inserting commas in between to separate the periods, we have the product one lakh thirty thousand. Now, question D. What is the given number there? It is four hundred three into hundred. How many zeros? Three. Sorry, two zeros. Now let's insert commas. So, what is the product? It is forty thousand three hundred. We have learned about multiplication, how to multiply two numbers, right? So look at this example. Find thirty-seven into ninety-nine, a two-digit number multiplied by a two-digit number. It might take a little bit of time to actually find the product of this multiplication, right? What if we have some shortcuts to find the answer easily and quickly? Let's see one such method now. See, it is thirty-seven into ninety-nine. We know it's very easy to find thirty-seven into hundred. You just insert two zeros to the right of thirty-seven, right? But here, instead of hundred, we have ninety-nine, and we know ninety-nine is actually hundred minus one. So, if we know the answer to thirty-seven into hundred, it would be easy to find out what is thirty-seven into ninety-nine, right? So, I'm rethinking this ninety-nine as hundred minus one. Let's see how we can write that. So thirty-seven into ninety-nine can be rewritten as thirty-seven into hundred minus one, right? Hundred minus one, which is equal to ninety-nine. So when you write something in bracket and write something to the left of it, this will be applicable to everything inside the bracket, right? So this can be expanded as thirty-seven into hundred. Minus this thirty-seven into one, right? 
Now, what is 37 into 100? It is 3700 minus 37 into 1, which is equal to 37. So, just find out the difference and it will be equal to the product of 37 and 99. These are the steps once again. So, 37 into 100 minus 1 is equal to 99. So that is 37 into 100 minus 37, which is 37 into 1. It is 3700 minus 37. So, here we have the answer 3663, which is the product of 37 into 99. Let us see one more example. 70 into 99. So, it can be written as 70 into 100 minus 1 which is equal to 70 into 100, it is 7000 minus what is 7 uh, into 1, it is, sorry, 70 into 1, it is 70 itself. Just subtract which gives you here, you can get the answer in just two easy steps. So, here the product is 6900. 6, 30 that is the product of 70 into 9. This way you can do multiplication easily. It's not necessary that you do have to do all the calculations with pen and paper every time or pencil and paper every time. You have to learn to practice. Uh, you, have, you have to practice to do calculations in your mind so that you'll bet you'll get better every time uh, you do calculations. It will be easier for uh, easier for you to do calculations. Now. You can go through the topic in page number 38 of your textbook. Once you do that, you have to move on to exercise 3.2. Question number 2, you have to do questions 2a, 2b, 2c and 2d. Pause the video, finish the activity and come back. Hope you finished writing the answers. Now let's discuss them. First question, 11 into 99. So 11 into 99 is equal to 11 into 100 minus 1 which is equal to 1100 minus 11. So, what is the answer? It is 1089. Now, let's move on to the next question. It's B 28 into 99 which would be equal to 2800 minus 28. So, what is the answer? It is 2,772. Now, the third question. C, 65 into 99. It would be equal to 6,500 minus 65. So, let's regroup. And it will be 5, 3. What is the answer? 6,435. Now, question D would be equal to 7900 minus 79. So, regrouping gives you 1, 2, what, what is the answer? This 7821. Now, we were discussing on multiplication of a number by 100, 1000 and 10,000 and we also saw some shortcuts to do multiplications easily. Please go through the topic once again and get thorough with the concepts and it's an activity for the day. You have to complete the rest of the questions from exercise 3.2. From question 1, find the product, you have to do 1e to 1l and from question 2, find the product using smart multiplication, you have to do the questions from 2e to 2p. So that's all for today. We'll meet in the next class with a new topic. Until then, bye.